Hello to the biggest scratchers on the earth. How's it going today, guys? This is Chris here again, back with another tutorial from Coding with Chris. Today, we're going to be making a uh, kind of an interesting, I guess, um, you know, little game. Um, and it's going to be like a basketball shooting game. Uh, but before that, uh, some of you tried to kind of like find a way to reach out to me. And uh, I know that I do not have any social accounts. So I actually did go ahead and make a public social account out here. Uh, it's called Big Scratchers. Right now, as you can see, I have this staggering number of zero followers. So <laughs> I just made this channel, just made this um, this Instagram account. So if you want to go and like reach out to me, you want to like send a message to me or, uh, you know, like uh, maybe I'll actually I'll start posting stuff on Instagram as well very soon. Um, so if you just want to kind of uh, you know, chat uh, or anything, you can just, uh, you know, add me uh, on there. And then uh, I'll make sure to, you know, answer as many questions as I can. So of course, guys, I really hope sometimes uh, you understand if I don't see your like, uh, your your questions or, or something, because, uh, you know, just sometimes it just kind of, you know, gets gets lost, but I really, really am trying my best to answer all of them. So yeah, this is uh, how you can reach out to me. But anyways, without any uh, more time wasted, let's get to it. So the first thing I want to do is to bring in a basketball. I'm going to keep things very simple. Guys, some of you have been complaining about how I design my games and how they are ugly and whatnot. Well, I am not a designer. I've said this before. Uh, and I'm, by, by the way, if you didn't know, and if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably, if you've seen other videos, you probably already know that I'm not a game designer by experience. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a developer, but mainly I come from a web development and app development background, not game development. So sorry if some of my games are not that cool to your standards. But anyways, I'll try my best to teach you guys what I know. And yeah, so let's get started. This is also another project that um, I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, I have done it before and I didn't spend much time on it, but I found it's you know pretty pretty interesting. So basically we want to shoot this ball um, you know um, uh, into a basket. So first I'm just gonna you know create this ball. you can get it from your sprites. and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly draw a little basket. You know let's just keep it simple and draw like a let me make this size to 10 I guess. And honestly guys, again, I am not a good painter so or artist so this is going to be my basket it's too big right now i'm just going to go ahead and put it down here scale it way down maybe um 20. yeah i like that well no it's bigger 30. um and also i will definitely make it thicker Ooh, wait gonna go ahead and make it way thicker like that is it good yeah it looks better looks better okay it's gonna put it right down here our goal is to shoot our ball right into this basket now um, I do want to make the inside of this basket a different color so that we can decide whether or not the ball is actually because later I'm gonna be kind of using the sensing to decide whether or not the ball has touched a certain color and not the entire sprite. So what I will do is to, I guess I'm just gonna copy and paste this entire basket. Um, it's gonna bring it up. Ooh, I didn't, I made a mistake. Let's bring it up. Made a mistake again. How am I not able to select this? Okay, let's just select, okay, selecting both of them. Wait a second. Copy and paste. Okay. And then bring it right up here. First, I'm just going to change the color. Um, you can you can choose whatever color you like. Uh, I'll choose like a, let's see, kind of a, yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, okay, I like that blue. Um, bring it way down, I guess, make it smaller like that, shorter. Um, kind of looks kind of weird, but also kind of interesting. Um, 
this is just kind of showing the inside of the basket. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, so yeah, this is going to be like the inside of the basket. Uh, it kind of looks like a like a bucket of water or whatever. You know, this is going to be the inside. So if the uh, you know the basketball actually touches the inside, it is going to you know react. Actually, I do want to I do want to make it a little bit more towards the inside because I still want to kind of let the basketball basketball to touch the outside as well if we do touch any of these black parts actually we just want to maybe bounce or just um you know take a point from the from the game um but yeah so inside it will be the blue color will be the the, the main goal for us okay now to the important part how can we actually throw this um ball up how can we make it move uh, the way we want it well the first thing I want to do is to uh, make the ball aim towards my mouse pointer. That is pretty easy. You go to the events, and when we start the game, so when we press the green flag, we want to forever repeat. And what do we want to do? We want to point to the mouse pointer. So look what will happen now. So as you can see, when I move my mouse pointer, the ball is now pointing towards my mouse pointer. Later, I want to use my mouse pointer to point where I want to shoot the ball. All right, I want to point where I want to shoot the ball. So now that it's um, kind of pointing towards my mouse pointer, I want to also set a, uh, you know, set a uh, part where, uh, I mean, set a, a command where we actually tell the. Um, the um, uh, what do you call it the ball to actually jump or do its thing let's just do a simple move for now so what I'll do is that I'll say when I press space when I press space I want my let's see my okay let me see I want my ball to repeat so it's just gonna repeat until repeat until what well we want to repeat until um we either touch this color or this color or any of the edges okay so we want to repeat until we touch this color this color or any of the edges um and what do we want to actually repeat well what i want to repeat is going forward and um basically having a uh, what do you call it uh, we, uh, we want to have a um, uh, you know kind of an angle for you know kind of uh, what do you call falling back down uh, I'm struggling to speak right now <laughs> I don't know why anyways um, so let's go ahead and get those conditions in we want to bring or and I think one more or so again what conditions we want to say touching color. Let's pick this color precisely black. Another touching color. Let's pick that car color precisely as well. And we put this one on one side of the ore. Ooh, be careful. All right. And then on the other side of the ore, I'm going to pick the edges. So if the, uh, the ball is touching the edges, edge, great. Now I just kind of drag and drop this right in here. So this will repeat until any of these conditions are true. So again, what do I want to repeat? Well, let's just do for now, let's just go ahead and say we want to kind of move uh, you know move 10 steps or let's just do five steps for now make it a little bit more slow so look what will happen if i if i press space now you can see that now my um you know uh, the ball is actually <laughs> kind of following my mouse around of course this is not the desirable uh, outcome that i want from this but it's it's kind of try it's kind of working however you see if i touch the edge for example it will stop right uh, or let me let me try again Ooh. Okay, now it's, oh, it's because it's touching the edge. So we should make sure kind of this ball is never in the beginning is touching the edge. So if I again touch, for example, the blue, it should stop as well. 
And yeah, so it, it is working. It is working. Trust me. Um, so what is the problem right now? Well, first of all, like I said, after we press the space, we don't want this script to work anymore, which means I don't want my ball to repeat going towards the direction of my mouse. So uh, I'll go ahead and say here, I'll say if, oh, ooh, not this one, the key, where's key? Okay, here. So if we press space, if space key pressed, we want to stop this script, okay? Um, so stop this script. So uh, if you guys already know what this means, great. If you don't know, I'm just going to quickly tell you what is happening. Basically, this block of code is separate from this block of code. So when I say stop this script, it will only stop everything within this block of code and not everything else. Everything else is just going to continue as normal. So what this will do is that it will set, um, you know, it will stop my my ball to continue moving towards my mouse pointer. Uh, look at look at here now. You see, if I press space now, you see, even if I'm I'm moving my mouse, the ball is now not moving towards the mouse pointer anymore. It's just kind of moving towards one direction, right? Okay, fantastic. So what else can we do here? Well, um, you know, another thing that we can do is to just kind of change the, uh, we want to change the um, speed of the ball depending on how far or how close my mouse pointer is to the ball. I mean, if I'm, for example, if my if I'm keeping my mouse pointer, you see, if I'm keeping my mouse pointer like in this distance and I press space, the ball should go faster than if I keep it here and I adjust the, you know, like let's say um, the the angle and I press space. So the closer the mouse pointer is, the slower the ball should bounce. Make sense? Hopefully it does. So how can we do that? Well, there's this thing called distance to mouse pointer. It's very interesting. This one, it's a like a variable, and uh, it just kind of um, uh, it, it just kind of gives a, uh, a a value a number to you of how far your mouse pointer is to the ball. Uh, of course, there is a distance formula that I'm not going to bother using right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and use this one for now. So. When I do press the space, I want to keep the distance from the mouse pointer in a set place so it doesn't change. Um, what I mean by that, if I put it here directly, what happens is that even, even after, um, after I already shot the ball, it is still going to track where my mouse is and it's going to change the speed uh, according to the distance to the ball. I don't want to do that. What I want to happen is that after I press space, we're going to get where my mouse pointer is at the time of pressing space and then calculate the speed and then keep that speed at a constant. So what I'll do here is that I'll create a variable. I'll call it speed. And uh, I'll say in here, I'm going to go ahead and say use mouse pointer's distance as a, as a speed. And then I'm going to use speed here. Let's see what will happen now. So if I kind of keep my mouse here and then I press space, ooh, that was super fast. And as you can see, it was kind of, it says my mouse pointer's distance was about 112. That is too much to put inside of move, you know, certain steps inside of the move block. So what can we do to kind of slow down this a bit? Well, I can divide this mouse distance number by a certain number. So I'll go to my operator and uh, I'll just say divided by five. Let's try that. Let's see how that's going to look like. Okay, keep it here and boom. Okay, so this is a little bit better. This is definitely a little bit better. And as you can see, so if I go farther, the ball moves faster. If I, let's move it here. If I go closer, you see I'm very, very close to the ball right now, and I press space, it moves super slowly, right? So that is, I think that is a great control to have, you know, regarding 
to how you want to how you want your ball to move. All right, now here comes the next part and probably the trickiest part of this. And I'm going to be very 100% honest with you guys. I have not researched this just yet and I am not really sure like how to do it just yet. And I will do I will try my best to go and research it. Um like I said, this is like a spare of the moment. This is like a very quick idea that I had I wanted to share with you guys. So the question is, in what angle should my ball move? So if, if I'm moving if I'm moving in this angle, so then like how should it fall? Should it does it go like in a totally perpendicular angle? Like like if I go let's say 90 degrees here, then I'll just come back down at 90 degrees then I do not necessarily have that number just yet, or I, I'm not really sure how to calculate it. But I do have a um, kind of a trick, I, we could say, to use like a constant number here for our, uh, you know, for our turn, for example, five degrees, and then, you know, allow the, you know, the player to, to then kind of determine how this going to, how this is going to you know move around and uh, how how they should adjust their shooting. So now look at here. If I run again and if I just kind of press press space here, you see now I kind of get that kind of an angle, right? So again, if I kind of start here and then I kind of go go towards there, ooh. So you can see. So I I'm pretty sure this is not a this is not a correct way of um, you know uh, using this kind of a uh, formula, but I guess it kind of works. You know it kind of works, and uh, if you play around with it, uh, you'll probably uh, you'll probably get used to it, and you can actually it's kind of a playable game. Uh, but anyways, if you really want to know about this, uh, you can go and research. I'll do my best to research it as well, and then maybe figure it out and tell you guys. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it this way. Um, all right, now let's go ahead and uh, and uh, kind of um, kind of see uh, what's going to happen. So after we touch this blue thing, if we touch this blue thing, we have to go ahead and add one to our score. So it's pretty simple. So I'll say make a score as a variable, and then I'll say um, if ooh here. If, and then I'm just going to duplicate this one, touching blue, then I just want to add one to my score. Add, ooh, add one, change score by one. Um, let's try that. Let's try to see what will happen. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I want each time I press the press the start button, what I want to do is to kind of randomly place the ball along this area. However, I do not want to uh, make it touch the edge. So let's first figure out a x and y. So the y is going to be minus one five three. And we could actually have it kind of randomly go here. Let's try that. For example, we just start kind of from there. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. So what I want to do is to actually have it randomly appear any in any area, you know, in er any area like around here. All right. So um, what is that area? Well, let's just kind of figure that out. Uh, it's going to be random. Um, this is going to be minus 200 and 149. So let me get a, get a, I don't want to say go to random position because then it will, it's possible that it just kind of drops on here, but I just want to have a controlled area. So I'll say go to X and Y in the beginning, but then I will get my random operator for Y. First, I'm going to put um, 149, 149, and I think the other number was minus 150, okay, minus 
150. And for x, we're going to pick a random number between, let's say, uh, minus 210, minus 210 to what? To 94 or 95. Let's give it a round number. Okay, cool. So now you see, each time I press the play button, now it goes kind of to a random position. However, it will never touch my basketball for sure. And it was just going to always stay in that area. So let's see if I'm if I'll have any success with this to get a score. No success. Okay, one more time. Ooh, a score. Okay, so I did get one right there. All right. Now, of course, maybe let's go ahead and pick a better background. Let me see if, if we have any better backdrops for this one. Um, let's see. Oh, this looks better. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely looks a little bit better. Um, but of course, I'm, going, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can do much better than me in terms of design. But yeah, this is a basic basketball shooting game. You can control the, uh, you know, your ball speed. You can control uh, the angle that it goes with your mouse pointer. Um, you know, uh, and you, you get scores. It's, it's kind of random. It's a quick game, but it's a fun game. And I'm pretty sure if you played with your friends, you're going to have a lot of fun. Again, I will try to figure this out. Uh, before maybe the next video, or oh, maybe I will never, <laughs> I'm not sure. Let me know if you want me to figure that angle thing out, all right? Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any questions, again, regarding this project or any other Scratch project that I make, you can hit me up on the newly made Instagram account called Big Scratchers. Uh, I'll put a link down below in the description as well so that you don't, you don't kind of mistake it with any other account. Um, uh, and I'll try my best to, to answer your questions. All right. So thanks again, all of you, uh, please go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button and share this video with your friends. But until the next video to all of you have a good day and bye-bye.